the store, people that are selling in the store, they open late and they close on time. Hey, they open really. Hello, family, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a bus. Things that shocked me in Ghana, the part two of it, because people have been asking me on my comment section that I should make this video again. So I want to make the part two of the video today. So if this video is what you like to watch, please watch to the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so let's dive right into the video so the first thing that shocked me in ghana is that trolley are free you know when you go to the, when you're coming from another country like you're coming from abroad those trolley in the airports that you put your load then i'll put the picture up here those trolley that you put your your luggages and baggages inside they are free you don't pay for it you don't pay for it it's free in ghana it's free but in my country where i'm coming from at the airport you need to pay before you get those trolley you will pay for it it's not free they will not give it for you for free you will pay for it but in ghana i was surprised that the trolley is free it didn't shock me i was like shocked when i say like I, are we going to pay? They, they say, no, 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 it's free. I was like, really? It's free? It is shocked me because where I'm coming from, you pay. You pay for it. And mostly, if they see that you're coming from another country, as in, they will even charge you more. Because you are coming from another country, they will say, hey, maybe you are bringing dollars <laughs> or euro or pounds. So you will pay. And if they, if you want to pay, so they, will, they, they are even expecting you to pay with a foreign currency. So it's not free. In my country, joke apart, in my country it's not free, but in Ghana it's free. And I'm, I'm, I'm often surprised that even the person that will help you to push the trolley to your taxi, they don't even ask you for money in return. They don't ask for money in return in Ghana. But in where I'm coming from, if the person that will help you to push, you will first of all pay for the trolley. If you pay for the trolley, and the person that will help you to push it to the place that you're taking your bus, and you will pay, you will pay the person again. You will pay the person. That will help you to put it in your taxi. You will pay for it. But in Ghana, you don't pay. It's free. It's free. Trolley is free. I was shocked that trolley is free. The person that will even help you to push it, to take it to your taxi. The person don't collect money. It's free as well. That shocked me in Ghana is that their ATM stand, there is no queue. No queue in the ATM stand. No queue. <laughs> Hey, I was like, seriously, there's no queue on this ATM stand. Because where I'm coming from, eh? If you want to go and withdraw money from the ATM, you need to go early. Early, early, early. If you did not go early, you will come and see queue, eh? The queue will be like, I don't even know how to describe it, but the queue will be so long. The queue will be so long. You will come and see different type of people on the queue. You will come and see pregnant woman. You will come and see woman backing a baby. You will come and see old woman. You will see young. You will see different set of people on that ATM stand. Some people will be like, maybe those one with pregnancy. They will be like, please, can I, can you, can you, please help me? Let me just withdraw. If the person say, let me withdraw, maybe you that have a soft mind, you say, okay, go and withdraw. Another person that will be in the front of you or in the back of you will say, no, 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 no. You will not withdraw. You will not withdraw. It's almost is my turn. If she withdraw, it's my turn. Don't go. As in, they will just start calling before you know. Calling will just start on the ATM stand. But in Ghana, there is no queue on the ATM stand. If you just go to your ATM stand, you just go and withdraw your money. You will just withdraw the money and leave there. There's no queue on the ATM stand in Ghana. So I was like surprised. Even in, in where I'm coming from, even the people, maybe some people will just go to the ATM. Maybe if they, it's their turn to withdraw, some people will just go there. They will just spend like 30 minutes. They will just be withdrawing, 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 withdrawing. They will just take more, more long time. And some people, again, will just go there. Somebody that has been standing since morning, maybe you think that the person will want to go and withdraw a huge amount of money. The person will just go there, you don't be surprised. The person will just withdraw 1,000 Naira. You'll be like, Jesus. So it's 1,000 Naira that's, that's been making this person to start in my phone since. Even maybe you have somebody in the hospital, you want to come and withdraw the person's hospital bill that you want to pay for the bills. You will stand though. You will stand and wait for your kid. Even if the person is dying, you will stand and wait for your turn. They will, nobody will allow you to pass and go as in to take his chance and withdraw first. You must stand. You must wait for the queue. But in Ghana, there is no ATM queue. Queue, there is no queue. 
there's no queue if you just go to ATM, just go and withdraw i was lucky okay maybe the queue is in the, inside the bank since there's no queue on the atm in ghana okay the queue will be inside the bank behold inside the bank eh, there's no queue you will go to the bank you will just see people scanting in the bank everybody is sitting down they are sitting down waiting for their they are turn to withdraw their money but in where i'm coming from where i'm coming from you inside the bank you will see queue inside the bank there's no place to sit down safe you will stand because people will just stand on the line you will just see them standing on the line everybody will just stand on the line you no place to sit the bank will be so filled up with people so i was shocked there's there's no atm queue and there's no queue inside the bank so the thing shocked me another thing that another thing that shocked me in ghana is that when i got to ghana eh, their car their taxi uber bus they are just small 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 i was like ah, ah. Why are all these cars small, small like this? Because where I'm coming from, our buses are bigger. Our taxis are bigger. Our Uber, they are bigger. But uh, in Ghana, you will just see their own as just small, small, small. I was like, why are they small? I was not thinking in my mind that maybe if uh, all these fat people, all these fat people that have big uku and uh, big now, big people, fat, they, how, how can they enter into this car? I was just thinking of eating. This thing was now like bothering me. Everything was small, 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 small in my eyes. Oh, in my eyes, everything was small, 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 small. But with time, I started getting used to it. I just started. I, I, I was. I could not even see them as small again because I'm used to it. I'm used to seeing them all the time. So the thing that gets used to me. So another bus does not stop anywhere. As both only stop at the bus uh, stop. Maybe if you are in the bus, they normally stop at the bus stop. Don't go and think that anywhere you want to come that you say, hey, I want to come down here. Oh, I want to come down here. No, they don't stop anywhere. They will, only, they will stop you at the bus stop. It's the bus stop that they will stop you. They will not stop anywhere. Maybe you are just going, you say, okay, I'm stopping here. They will just come down. No, because where I'm coming from, if you say you are stopping here, they will just stop and they will drop you. Bus does not stop anywhere. Oh. They stop at the bus stop. So there was a day, <clears throat> excuse me, there was a day I was just in the bus. So I was just saying uh, chatting and chatting. So the place I was supposed to stop. So I passed. Then I passed the place. So I was like, please, uh, I was telling the um, um, conductor, I was telling him that, please, I want to stop um, here. The, the boy said, no, you are not stopping here. Then we'll take you to the next bus stop. I was not pleased now. You see, I want to stop now. I miss the place I'm supposed to stop. I think maybe if I beg the person, the person will tell the driver to stop and stop me. No, they didn't stop me. I almost cried. I almost cried. So they took me to the next bus stop to stop me. Then I have to trek back. I have to trek back. So I was just pissed off that day. I was just pissed off. Another thing that shocked me is that people that are selling in the, in the store, people that are selling in the store, they open late and they close on time. Hey! They open really, really late and they close on time. They close on time. And they don't open on time. Oh. They open late and they will close on time. Just imagine. I say where I was coming from. Maybe if you want to go and buy something in the person that is selling. Like in Ghana. person that is selling in the store. Maybe you just get to the place and the person is about to close. The person is about to close the store. Then you tell the person that, please, I want to buy something. This is what I want to buy. The person will tell you, I've closed. Oh. And the person is just maybe packing the things inside the store, want to close. You will be like, please, no, sell. the person will say, no, I'm, I've closed. Ah. I say, ah, all these people, you don't want to make money. <laughs> I was like, you don't want to make money. You have closed. I'm standing. You are, you are saying me that you're closed. You say, yes, I'm, I've closed. But where I'm coming from, they will say for you, even even if the person you know the person that is selling in the store and the person's house is not far uh, from the store even you know the person you can go and knock at the person's door and say please i want to buy so 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 still in your store the person will leave what she he or she is doing they will come to the store and say that's something for you but in ghana no you will stand there you will stand there the person will be packing in your present and the person will tell you that i have clothes i have clothes they will not say for you they are contacted they don't like killing their self over that. I want to make money. I don't I want to make money. I want to make money. Any amount that that person sell a day, even if it's 20 CDs, 50 CDs, they are okay. But in where I'm coming from, at least that, even if it's five CDs, two CDs, what you want to buy, it's an addition to that person for the day. 
It's an addition to that person for the day. So the person will sell for you. They will come and sell for you. They will come from their home and sell for you. Or, or even if the person locked the store already, maybe you are coming and you see that uh, it's, a, uh, it's a shop seller and the person has already locked the store. You can, you can tell the person that, please, I wanted to buy something from your store. And the person will come back and open the store and sell it for you. And sell it for you. But in Ghana, it did shock me. The, the woman just told me that I have clothes. I was like, please. She said, no, I have clothes. I have clothes. I was like, ah. Ah, it's my money before. It's my money before. She, she said, I have clothes. I was like, ah. It's like the rules. Oh. This one, there's rules here. Okay. There's rules. Eh? You want to buy something, then you need to come on time. If you do not come on time, they close, they've closed. Or they will not stay for you. So, I think I've come to the end of this blog. So, 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 please, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and share my video and give it a thumbs up. And see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye.